Ukraine just attacked a Russian ship with a bunch of drones and basically sunk it. It was really cool. It was, it was like a four minute video. It's like, and it's a lot of Ukrainian talking. The point is that I like this. I think America should like this. I think the United States government should like this. I think even the people who are isolationists should like this. We should want Ukraine to keep on blowing up Russian ships. And we should all agree to give them at least that power to do it. Give them drones, give them missiles, give them the technology, give them information to do this. Because the biggest threat to the United States, remember, we're, we're the most isolated countries in the world. We have sea on both sides. We have Mexico, which is an ally. And we have Canada on top, which is an ally. But we have Russia right next to Alaska, right? So <clears throat> that's an issue. And so ships, that's the most important thing. What, what, what are the two things that we keep on bumping into Russia? They're flying airplanes over Alaskan airspace. And the ships keep on passing into our, I think it's called uh, military protected border. Waters. I don't know exactly what it's called, but there's a, it's much bigger than just like the, you know, the little tiny strip of, of water that we say, this is ours. It's more like military protected, which is much, 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 much more. And so they keep on bumping into us. And, and so the more ships Ukraine blows up of Russia's, the more we gain. We gain an hour of war, right? Whatever you want to say in Ukraine, we don't care about Ukraine. Let Ukraine burn to the ground. Obviously, it's not true. If Russia takes over Ukraine, Vladimir Putin knows America's weak. We know America's weak, but Putin knows America's weak. He's spoken to Biden. He's spoken to all these leaders. He knows America is on the decline. And he's like, I love countries. Putin is a KGB officer, and he grew up seeing the collapse of the Soviet Union. So he knows what's what, right? He was there when Soviet Union was this big, big, massive, you know, conglomerate of nations. He wants that. He really, really wants that. And so we're going to get it. We can fight it. But uh, I, I, I read a tweet from the Institute of the Study of War. And there, it's like a whole seven thing. It's a very complicated uh, series of tweets. Um, but the point is that they're saying that there's no scenario in which Russia doesn't... Any, any ceasefire deal that leaves Russia in charge of any portion of Ukraine would lead Russia to go and to, to make make short, make Kiev uh, Russian. That's, that's what the tweet says, like automatically. They, there is no scenario where Russia won't go and try to take over the whole Ukraine after the ceasefire deal. But well, you can agree or disagree with that. That's, they're pretty good at, at you know, seeing things on the ground. But uh, let's just, uh, that's, that's whatever you think. Right? I don't know what I think exactly on Ukraine. I think that Russia only owns this much of Ukraine. So letting them have a sliver of it, I don't have such an issue with it. I get mostly emptied. All the Ukrainians have basically been brought into Russia already. So it's like, I don't want to be anyone there anymore. And so I don't care about that. We shouldn't pay money for that, maybe. Maybe, whatever, but that's the fight, right? But we should all give Ukraine all that they need to sink every single Russian ship in existence. And once they're at it, maybe some Chinese ships. That would be nice. Though I doubt they're going to do that. Maybe it's the Taiwan the power to sink a bunch of Chinese ships. But that's just important. It's really important that Ukraine continues to do this. Continues sinking Russian ships. This will help the United States fight our wars. Make Russia weaker on the global stage. Because ships are very important these days. You have a conflict anywhere in the world. You send the ships there. Massive military presence. Boom. But if you have no ships, you can't do that. It doesn't work. You have to fly them in. You got to transport them. How are you transporting them? Only on planes. A lot harder. See, with the ship, you can transport just a whole army wherever you want, like this. So I think it's like total 14 days. So keep seeking the ships, Russia. We should help them. The West should help them do that. Again, the other thing, it's a, it's a, it's a way of arguments. At this, we should all agree, sink as many Russian ships as we possibly can before this war ends.